What is going on there, Guardians? My name is Poet, and we have a really awesome Bungie update this week, and I'm super stoked to be sharing this with you guys. You can now officially trade gear throughout your vault and your characters via mobile devices like your phone and even your PC, your computer, or laptop. This is highly exciting. Very, very sought after. Community has been asking for this for a long time because of the time and delay it takes from just going to store these weapons between the three characters you have or, oh shit, I forgot my strange coins and Zer's here. You're going to have to go all the way around switching through all those characters, wasting five minutes every time you do that. That is no longer the problem with this new mechanic they have added to Bungie.net and here we go I'm going to show you okay what it so looks here like. we go you can see I have my Titan up you can see the recent activities over here if I wanted to go ahead and switch over to my warlock or anything like that I am more than capable of doing that and switching these things up as I so please and I'm doing this on the PC right now you can do these for mobile devices and everything like that too but I want to show you exactly what this is and what you could do with this and it's pretty exciting. So I have all this gear with me right now. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, store these real quick if I want to. So I can click that. I can equip it if I want. Or I can move it to vault. And just like that, it is instant. It is already in the vault in my game. If I take something from my vault, it is already on my character at an instant. So you could switch these out at any time. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one right here. Because over on this right side is what is in your vault. And I'm going to take it from vault. And it's going to equip it. And as you can see, it's already back in game. And I'm capable of equipping this. This is going to be great when I need to transfer gear from things. Maybe I need to go ahead and level up this Dragon's Breath that I need to inspect. As you can see, it's right there. And I am lacking, you know, a few pieces of spin metal or whatever it is that I need. I can actually scroll down here, grab my Heavy Ammo Sense if I'm in the raid. Instead of having to leave and go all the way back to the tower or anything, I can switch my gear around from my PC now or from my mobile device without ever having to go to the tower and then back and store things and back and forth. This is going to save us tons of minutes, tons of hours of our lives throughout the month. So go ahead, go in there, and test this bad boy out yourself so you can see exactly how convenient this thing is. So just like that, our prayers were answered. If you ever have been tired of switching between characters, you no longer have to worry about it. Hop on your PC or mobile device. Say, I need my Word of Kuroda for the nightfall, and it's got Void Burn. I can log on, hit that Hunter, put it in the vault, and it instantly go to my Titan, go to the vault, and retrieve it. And it's done in 30 seconds instead of 5 minutes. So that is a godsend. I absolutely love it. And definitely one of the, the coolest things that they've added in without any hints. It's pretty exciting to have that in the mix now and very much a convenience for us now. So thank you guys for that one, Bungie. And let's talk about the other thing that they mentioned. They have, in fact, confirmed Inferno Playlist Control specifically coming out on March 3rd through the 10th. This is the playlist that a lot of people have been talking about. I made a video on it yesterday, actually. So if you guys want to go ahead and see that, I'll leave a link down in the description or click the annotation at the top of your screen so you can find a little bit more about it and what I think it's going to do in changing the way Crucible is played. But for now, they've identified what changes are, in fact, in these Inferno game types. No tracker. Players have no radar in the top left corner of their HUD. They have simplified scoring. We've removed as many scoring events as possible. The mode is much more about getting kills and playing the core objective. They've also mentioned fast objective capture. Without the tracker, players are more vulnerable when interacting with objectives because it gives away their position. Speeding up capture time keeps the risk slash reward for trying to capture an objective more fair. Less heavy ammo. There's only one set of heavy crates per match, and dead players do not drop purple bricks, according to the 1.1.1 patch that released today. With that, no tracker. It's much easier to flank an aggressive opponent that's pushing for kills because they have heavy. Expect players to play more conservatively with heavy ammo to try and get more bang for buck out of it, which is exactly what you would expect out of this. So the fact that this game type is only going to have heavy spawning once per match, it's going to be important that you have that location locked down with your teammates and coordinate that said attack. Again, communication is key for Inferno. So that's exciting. The maps that are in the rotation are as follows. The Anomaly, Firebase Delphi. Twilight Gap, Rusted Lands, Shores of Time, Blind Watch, Asylum, The Burning Shrine, The Cauldron, and Pantheon. So basically everything that's in the traditional control playlist, but they've thrown in a couple of the Dark Below DLC ones too. Meaning, this is probably going to be a DLC-only playlist. Thank you guys for your time. Hopefully you enjoy this one. Be sure to subscribe for future Destiny news and updates, and I will see you guys with another Destiny video tomorrow. Take care, guys.